All right, guys, we're in Lapu Lapu City. It's really bustling. Really busy. Friend here is going to Japan. Say hi. hi. <laughs> so we're having a party. We're going to grill some meat, hi. drink some tequila. This is Apple, my gracious host. So in the words of Slick Rick, here we go. Dun, 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 dun. As you see, it's a free for all. You just gotta get in where you fit in. Cross the street when you can. <laughs> It is what it is. Trucks coming down the street, people moving, honking. They don't care, run over your feet. Everyone staring at the foreign guy. Ray gave me my hood pass. <laughs> Uncle Ray right here showing me around, making sure I don't get in any trouble. I'm not sure if I want that. I want to get into a little trouble, a little something, something. But now, guys, we're out here. Going to pick up some meat to grill. So we had to come back because my vaccine card is on my phone and they're asking for your vaccine card before you come in. So. Again, pork belly. So Ray's picking up pork belly. All that, and he didn't even ask for my card. How many kilos are we getting? Two. Okay. And then we're gonna cook some of the chicken wings, right? Yeah. We really need all that amount? Okay. They got spices and sauces and herbs and mixtures. Over here they got beans and barbecue marinade and hot sauce and lunch meat. Camera. Can camera? No. Okay. Well guys, I was just told I had to stop recording, so. All right, we're out of the store now. Ray's picking up my favorite green chilies. Since coming up here, I've been eating lots of these little green chilies. Yeah, we're picking up some stuff to throw on the grill and I believe to marinate the pork and stuff. A little cabbage. Seems to have died down since we've been here. Just got here about, about half an hour ago. But it was super, super busy. Super busy. But yeah. Maybe some talong throw on the grill or no? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, no? No, okay. <laughs> He's like, no. <laughs> 
I don't know, guys. I'm just throwing out suggestions. So we're on top of that building up there. So we got a great view of everything. But one thing I cannot wait to cook is the fresh okra, some tomatoes, and some corn. Take the corn off the husk, some onions, some garlic, some Cajun seasoning, fry, a, pan fry the chicken and pour all that in, saute it, maybe a chili. Something I grew up eating, delicious. Not with the chilies, but. And the moringa leaves. We have enough charcoal? And other oh. well, I had bitter melon the other morning. Oh, it was delicious. They told me the secret to rub it in salt and soak it in the water and then don't overcook it and it's, and it's not bitter and it was delicious. We had the bitter melon for breakfast that, night, that day. Remember we had, or you were out, you were gone. But I had the bit, bitter melon. They made it for me for breakfast. Uh, yeah, Benji. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm bringing my vaccine card, but. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they made it to go back and get the vaccine card, or at least me. And then they didn't even ask for it. People getting a hair cut from the kuyas. Trying to get through the traffic without getting hit. It's playing Frogger, African American Frogger. Go ahead. I buy, buy charcoal. I go with you. Okay. Yeah. You trying to get rid of me, Ray? <laughs> Okay, got to watch out for the running cars and the running kids. <laughs> so we're getting some charcoal. Ladies bagging it up. Lots of green bananas there. I guess they wait for them to get ripe in the bags. I don't know how long it takes. Is that dragon fruit over there? Yeah. Ah. The buck. No, I thought it was dragon fruit plant. Or maybe it is. No, that's not dragon fruit. Oh, over here. Okay, we'll see it up there. Okay, well, we're headed back upstairs, guys. Keep your head on a swivel. What is this, right? It's a sugar, but... Okay. And, and, oh. So what kind of sugar is it? Uh, the Filipino, it's can, okay? Mascubado. Ah, mascubado. Okay. Whatever that is, but we'll, I'll figure it out.
Excuse us. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Get my steps in today. I tried to take the drone up, but apparently we're close to the Mactown Newtown Lapu Lapu Airport, so it wouldn't allow me to take it up. Oh, take this damn mask off. All right. So there's a drone. Got to keep it in the bag because you see all those ants. They get in my equipment. So yeah, guys. This is where we're at. There's the dragon fruit. It's not fruiting right now, but those cactus looking things is what the dragon fruit grows on. But yeah, here's the magnificent view. So yeah, we're getting the charcoal together. I've never seen this trick. Is that just to light the cardboard? Or try to light the cardboard? <laughs> it's more fun in the Philippines. <laughs> That's what we've been saying all day. Try not to get hit by cars, people walking into you. Not knowing personal space. All right. In the U.S., we have charcoal lighter. We like spray gasoline on it and just light it. <laughs> it's so easy, yeah. So yeah, guys, if you're into people watching, you can like make yourself a margarita, which I plan to, and a nice beer, and just chill on a seat and just watch the people shopping. Watch the cars go by. If you're single, look at the ladies. Oh, that's a nice motorcycle. Check that one out. Or a motorbike. With all the gold trim and everything on it. So yeah, some nice little breeze on the rooftop. So, I think I'm going to end this video right here so I can enjoy the festivities. Thank you for tuning in. Peace. So guys, I had to, I had to get this. Wait, where do you see this? I don't know if it's going to show up in the, the camera, but it's just like an orange hue. The silhouette of the mountains beautiful with the sun setting and all the footage I lost last time was I don't know if that's gonna come out but the clouds are nice and pink they were a lot more pinker before but look at the clouds beautiful it wasn't that hot today I would say 75 now it feels like it might be 70s there's a nice breeze but i just i just had to get that
But anyways, Ray's marinade and everything. Finally got the charcoal lit. It's going. See what Ray's doing. Is Ray on the other side? Huh? Ray Ray! Yeah. Alright. So, are you making a marinade or something? No, this is the uh, pork soap. Ah, okay. Yeah. The marinade is there. Okay. So he's making some type of pork soup. Careful, don't want to step on that and fall through. I just wanted to see the pork. Huh? Oh, oh, okay. So we got the chicken wings, pork belly. a mixture of these things here. I picked this up. I wanted this on my wings. Uh, I think we put some calamansi. Say hey to Uncle William. Yeah. What's up, guys? There's my cameraman. <laughs> What's up, Jane? Cool, How you doing? And Lola. <laughs> How's my dog? Is there alive? She's doing good. Okay. Well, keep a keep an eye on her. Don't let anyone poison her again. Till I want to see see her. So yeah, guys, I didn't mention it when I was up there. It seemed like they poisoned the dogs. Um, one died, and the little small dog, she's uh, kind of looks like a Doberman, uh, Mona, was just sick. And the first day I got there, she was jumping around and fighting and playing with the other dogs. And like a day or two later, she, her mood just started going down. She wouldn't eat. She threw up in the corner. She was just moving slow, didn't want to be bothered. Uh, so it was just, it was sad. And then they told me the other dog died. And so I was trying to keep an eye on Mona and give her some water to drink. She wouldn't drink it. The other dogs, when I was done with my buco, um, I would scrape the coconut out to give to them. And they were eating the coconut. I was hoping that would uh, help with whatever malnutrition issues they might be having. Um, the, all the other dogs look fine except for one of them. So uh, sh that dog didn't seem in good health. But after I was feeding him the coconut and all that, he started perking up. So I'm hoping that dog as well is doing well. But looks like Mona's going to pass through. I mean, uh, make it. Make it. Uh, so when I go up there, next time I'll, I'll introduce you to Mona. All right. Now I'm going to say peace until we get ready to cook. When we start grilling, then I'll start videotaping again. All right, guys. Peace. So, guys, I'm kind of tipsy. We had a little couple of margaritas from Stella Artois. They're drinking Red Horse. I don't drink the Red Horse. Had the chicken wings some rice and some cabbage from the soup and some let me see if I can find it grilled pork very delicious I stand corrected 
the gentleman is not the one who is going to Japan. It is the young lady over here. She's going to Japan. So I stand corrected. I'm not going to interview or intervene with her having friend time with her family. Uh, I don't think that's appropriate being though she's leaving tomorrow. So, you know, how that is leaving your family for a long period of time. So, anyways, <clears throat> barbecue went great. Had a few drinks. We talked. Time to eat. Let's see what the market's doing. The people have since left. Piles of garbage down there. People going through the garbage, I don't know. As you can see, it's all packed up. All is quiet. Breeze is flowing. A few clouds in the sky. Nice breeze. We're on top of the building. Say hi, everyone. Hi. I don't. I don't think they're drunk. They had a red horse. I'm not used to the red horse, so I was drinking the. Ah, he's talking to him. I think he had a lot more to drink than the other guys over here. Ray cooked us a good meal. Thank you, Ray. Ray was on the grill. Ah, this is my blog. Yeah, Cali in the Philippines. Yeah. Like, share, and subscribe. <laughs> so yeah, I'm back, guys. We, you know, we're enjoying ourselves. Uh, if I can say, if I have permission to say, this is, you know, the barrio in the Philippines. Hope no one takes offense to that. Nice, beautiful, breezy night here in the Philippines friends and family and they surely make me feel like family and I'm greatly appreciative of that so guys there's a lot of stuff that I don't vlog because I'm just taking it all in and enjoying being introduced to their family um, I'm at a last loss of words right now but I think you know what I'm saying I, I'm just greatly appreciated that they have taken me in and shown me the great Filipino hospitality that I've known growing up throughout my life. So thank you for tuning in and have a great night. Peace. So guys, just got back from the party, I'm trying to balance my goods that I got from SNR, and I see one of my favorite insects sitting by the open window, praying mantis. Anyone who knows me knows I love insects and bugs. Again, roaches, uh, yeah, roaches, flies, fleas, those are pretty much the only insects that I will kill. And I've had a few praying mantises for pets. And I think they're very beautiful creatures. Sorry I don't have a steady hand, but just wanted to take a, a video of this. Right now I'm back at the condo, having a great time with my extended family, and I'm going to sleep. Good night. Had to get a close up. They're just such beautiful creatures. So one creature off my bucket list 
although in Asia they're supposed to be a whole lot bigger. Other animal that I'm dying to see here in Asia or the Philippines or Southeast Asia is a monitor lizard in the wild. I finally found one. He's trying to get up in the... I don't know if you can see him. It's a monitor lizard. And I'm about to... See him? Jesus. Beautiful. trying to crawl across the road. Um, anyone who knows me, which obviously a lot of you don't know, because he's cleaning his mantles or whatever you call them. No, I love lizards. I've had several wild caught as pets and I won't do that anymore because they always, well, they don't last, and I'd rather them live out in the wild than me having them for a temporary pet and them coming to demise in my captivity. So now I just admire them in their natural habitat and let them do what God intended them to do. See?